if you work in your business, your business isn't working on you. What does that mean? To work on your business requires you to work on yourself. Um, and again, I would take this from 10x is easier than 2x, right? So there are many pathways towards incremental gains, but there are few towards massive, scalable 10x gains. I, I love this concept. Um, it's been really powerful. It's really simple, hard to apply. But the net net is, in order for your business to grow, you have to grow. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, this came up again this week. I was talking to a friend of mine. We were working through some things. This person is going from becoming a freelancer, solopreneur, kind of growing a business into now scaling that business into a completely new thing. And going through that process requires a lot of somebody. So I'm gonna reference my notes. Going from a freelancer to a solopreneur to an entrepreneur is a massive shift in identity. Uh, what does that mean? I think of identity shifts, they, they come with any big change in life. If you go from being a single person to uh, being in a relationship, if you go from being married to being a widow, there is this identity change that happens. There's this, it almost feels like this internal crisis that happens. And it can be the case in business as well. When you're going from a freelancer, you're going from that singular role to now thinking about things as a you're a business manager, you, you have multiple employees, you have this whole different world. And so working over the course of this week, and I've seen this with other people too, but this has been a cool experience for me to, to be close to this friend as his business starts to scale, is there's these old processes, these old, in, in psychology, you, you would call them core beliefs. They're these deep beliefs that are rooted inside that you have on how to run your business, right? And those are so different as a freelancer, or as a solopreneur, versus as an entrepreneur with multiple employees trying to grow a business. And so one simple way is looking at incoming work, right? So if you're in an agency or you're, you're in that type of model where you're constantly looking for new work, um, you have referrals, but you need to constantly have a steady stream of work. And then there's like a very fine line between having enough, too much, and the whole thing, right? And so it can be really challenging to scale something like that because you're, you're always flying the plane as you're building it. And so in this particular instance, this, my, my good friend is like, there's a ton of work coming in and there's like older customers that are at different rates. Um, and there's, there, you know, there's people that are like more of our future client who we'd love to work with financially, um, just in terms of what goals they have and what they're trying to accomplish. They're just people aligned with art, the, the mission statement of his company. And so it requires this, different mindset of saying, you know, Alex Hormozzi is really good at talking about this, of saying no to the $10,000 gig, saying no to the $100,000 gig to focus in on the million dollar, or $10 million, or $100 million thing that you don't yet have. Um, but you can't be all things to all people. You can't say yes to every job and just, I gotta fill the pipeline, I gotta fill the pipeline. It's a different way of thinking. It's more thinking about smaller margins, but getting in a, a system of employees to manage each thing and making sure the quality is still good and figuring all that out is a very different model from, I just need to make sure that my plate is busy for 12 months. So there's a shift in identity that needs to take place. And in order to grab on to a new identity, you need to let go of the one you currently have. Um, I love this quote in 10X is easier than 2X. It's not Benjamin Hardy's quote, but I, I really like it, which is what got you here will not get you there. So wherever you're trying to go, like the tools and skills and thoughts and traits and things that you use to get where you are, is not gonna take you to 10X if that's where you're trying to go, which it should be. Um, so you've gotta let go of this old version of yourself, these old, patterns and pathways of thinking, which requires number one, and it requires ignorance, which congratulations, we're all born with that. We all have it, whatever stage we're at. Ignorance, it requires awareness that you're, you're, you, you need to shift, that there's an identity change that's required that needs to take place in order for you to go to the next level. And then it requires figuring out what you need to know that you don't know. Uh, and so there's this accumulation of wisdom that needs to transpire in order for you to go down that road. So ignorance, 
um, realization of a delta, awareness of a delta between where you are, where you want to go, and then you've got a test, right? Like in the real world, none of us ever gets it right the first time. We will research, read books, watch some videos, whatever, try a couple things that we think are going to work. Some of them may, some of them won't. Some of them um, will be a combination of both, right? Where like parts of them work, but they didn't totally work for us. And so you've got to become the scientist of your own life and figure out um, how what that new identity looks like for you, for your business, um, but that there's ample tools and skills and free resources like YouTube and amazing books, audible, audible books I really like. I like to listen to them. I like to read paperback too, but Audible is really nice because I can do it while I'm working on things. So what is a, what is the process of getting a new identity, shifting the one you had? And I, I always think of, this is disgusting, but I always think of like a snake shedding its skin. It's kind of like the process you go through when you're shifting your old identity and putting on a new one. Um, you're peeling away this old version of yourself and you're moving towards something completely different. Um, and so what is that process? What do we call that? That would be called growth. Growth is an active process. It's not something that's just gonna consciously happen. The law of entropy states that anything left unto itself will fall further and further toward into chaos. Um, and so it's not gonna happen. Growth is not gonna happen without effort, without conscious effort, without falling on your face, eating dirt, figuring it out. Think about when you were a child, I talked about this in the last video, learning how to walk, learning how to speak. You are gonna make innumerable amount of mistakes um, you just want to make sure that every time you make them, you're learning from them. But growth is an active process. It is the active process that gr that drives you from the identity you currently have and towards uh, a greater version of yourself and towards a 10x version of yourself. So I talked about this in death, direction, and goals. Um, I It's my personal belief that like going through this process and thinking deeply about all of these um, about growing, what the meaning of work, entrepreneurial stuff, like all of these things. I think success is taking on a new definition. I think for a lot of people, for I think for the 90s and 80s and 70s, it was like, uh, you know, primarily money and whatever. And I think it's very different today. I think it's quality time with family and it's all these other things for different people, but it's become more of a collection of soft skills and soft experiences, if you will, outside of just cold, hard cash. And so I, for me, I think growth is success. Like the destination is not the $200 million exit of the company and all these other things. Like you can go listen to those people who've had those sales. They've gotten out of their company. They have all the money. They have all the things, the parties, the girls, the speedboats, whatever. They're still not happy. Like not just one of them, but almost all of them. Like that chase just that path. And even the ones that are aware of wanting something more fulfilling, trying to help other people in the process, trying to solve real, meaningful, tangible, uh, entrepreneurial challenges that impact the world in a positive way, even when these people go through and they exit their company or they have a huge win, there tends to be a, uh, like a psychological dip of a depression after they come out of that. Uh, and it makes sense. I, there was Dr. Andrew Huberman talks a lot about um, the release of serotonin and all these things like being limited supply, right? And so you could go skydiving, release a ton at once, and then you have this kind of like withdrawal where you uh, other things start to lose their impact. And I think it can be the same thing when you have these massive successes. You're like, okay, that's it. Like that's all there is to this. Like that doesn't feel any different. I still feel the same. And so. Alex Hormozzi is really powerful about, about talking about this, but become he talks about becoming obsessed with, with the with the process, with the process of growing, with making that your metric. Uh, Myron Golden says, have the inputs be the thing you're working towards, not the outputs. And so, what does that mean? That means for for his YouTube channel, right? He's going to make a ten thousand videos, and it's not about does he get enough followers, is he monetized, is it this, is that? Like, all that's great. He'll be, you know glad to have that happen, but he won't be happy because that happened. He will be happy because he knows he's doing the 10,000 videos to get to the thing. The 10,000 videos will make him the better version of himself. He will grow through that process. And so it's the process that creates the best version of you. That is the goal. The other things are bonuses. So again, who you become along the way is your reward. The money, the fame, the things, the wealth, those are bonuses. 
So what does that mean? That means that growth is the means and the end. And I talked about this in the last video, but it is very true. You will take you with you wherever you go. And so you wanna be the best version of yourself for you, for other people, for the people you love, for strangers. And so that's the game. And I think that is different for everybody, but for entrepreneurs, I think these things apply to you. Um, don't work in your business. Work on your business by working on yourself. See you guys in the next one.